Hello YouTube, this is GreatFox1, and I'm here, and there's probably some con um, confusion out there of how these trains work. Um, obviously you have a positive and negative or negative and positive, it doesn't matter because it's AC. Um, well you have in here the tender, so obviously you have the wiring harness that leads into these fiber boards. Let me get some light shed on here. Oh. So you have these little copper finger things. If you can see them. Let me move the wires. You can kind of see them, those two little copper fingers here and here. Those receive power from different copper settings on the ratchet wheel. And it engages and this would be forward. If I do something. If I do this right, see it move there? Neutral, reverse, neutral, and then when I go to turn it on, it'll be back on forward. That's what I always do. Okay, so you have these wires right here. There are four of them. Um, the striped ones, kind of. The striped ones, these one, this one right here, um, those go to the actual armature motor thing. It's the little thing that spins right here. It goes to the, these two leads right here. Um, and then the solid black wires, they go to the lower leads and then it goes to the magnet that is down in there and it um, is this thing it's a magnet that makes the motor go round and round and round and that's how that works um but it engages on everything and then it can recognize the engine can recognize um, which way it's supposed to go by telling the magnet whichever way to pull the motor, I guess. Um, just to put some information out there, um, <clears throat> that's really it. Oh, one other thing. I discovered that on the Hudson's, there's this one little bar instead of actually soldering it to the little thing under there. They soldered, or they uh, put a bar right here and um, attached it to the chassis of the tender. And they soldered a wire to that bar that touched that pickup. And so that way no one would have to worry about that coming unsoldered right there. I wish they would have rather done it on the front one because it has two wires attached to it. And it'd make it easier for a lot of people. You've got the actual um, magnet thing wire. And I'll explain that in a second, the magnet. And then you have the um, one of the... Um, I'm trying to think if this is a motor lead. This is our armature lead, I think. Pretty sure. Um, anyways. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, we go back here, and I'll tell you how the ratchet wheel engages and stuff. So, you get the positive and negative. It really doesn't matter. It just applies power to both. And then there's a coil right here. Those are called coil magnets. 
what it does when you apply power to it. It's a very strong magnet that pulls the lever like this. It's a little thingy in here. You can go with your finger or fingernail and you just pull it pull it down. And then it then it um, engages on the wheel. And it's at an it's at an angle when it's down. Obviously, it'd be up like this. And when you pull it down, it goes like that. And it flips a little lever on the other side here. Let me reverse aim it. And the ratchet wheel has little um, grabs where it can push a, l a little... Um, hook up. And then, that's that. And then, it just engages the, um, it engages the ratchet wheel, which recognizes other copper settings and so forth. Like so. And then there's a lock switch on the bottom of the under on the underside of the tender it's a little silver switch on mine on the 322 right here on the trains it might be black like that um so like that and then if you return it to if you go forward forward neutral reverse neutral and then you went like that, it would be locked in the coming uh, setting. So, that's that. Just thought I'd put a little information out there like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. And the plug obviously just plugs into the back there. So, yeah, that's that's it, really. So, I guess I'll talk to you guys later, and see ya.